welcome to Bear, brought to you by Giddy. I'm your host, Marissa Sullivan, and I'm here with actor and producer, Ryan McPartland. Hi, Ryan. Hey, Marissa. <laughs> it's good to see you. I want to get into your beautiful wife, Danielle, and yeah. how, kind of how that works, because I know you've been traveling a lot. I was gone for the whole summer, so that was tough. It was eight weeks away. I think mm -hmm. it's really about communication. Like, what do you need? How can I help you? Because you can send flowers, you can... You can FaceTime, you can do all these things, but if you don't say, like, what can we do to make it better for you right now? Okay, and, and so when you're gone, are you, a, do you get into like the sexting, or do you do flirty texts? <laughs> we started dating when it was pagers <laughs> and, and pay phones. And I'm not joking when I say that, it totally ages me. But it's like, I remember being out to dinner with friends or being at a bar and going, like getting my pager and going, oh, Danielle's calling, I gotta hit her up. <laughs> <laughs> and like leaving to find a payphone to be like, hey, what's up? I got right. use my parents' calling card, so I don't have many minutes left. It's like that's how we started when she was yeah. at KU and I was in LA trying to to make it as an Abercrombie. Yeah, model. so that may not be natural for you, like the whole tech. So yeah, it didn't start that, that way together, for yeah. us. So we started like our pattern was like being afraid of like who else is watching on these like right. cameras and right, all right, of that right. stuff. So we just had like. Or how is it, could it ever get into someone else's hands? Mm -hmm. Her and I misplace everything. <laughs> you know, so God knows what would get out there. So as a father to two, well, a preteen and a teen, mm -hmm. um, have you had started having conversations about sex? Do they ask questions? How is that all that going for? Boys don't really ask questions. <laughs> they, they don't want to talk about it at all with their dad. But for me, I want to talk about it. I over communicate. I over talk about things and that's just my style. So fifth grade is when it starts a little bit. There's a little bit of sex ed in fifth grade. And then I knew that the phones were going to come into play, especially sixth grade, seventh and eighth. Right. And everyone the, else has them. So everybody gonna, has them. And my my them kids don't ha them. didn't have them, didn't have social media, mm -hmm. but I knew that their friends would have it. And to be honest, I know some of them don't have any parental controls on the phone. Right. So I said, why? There's so many steps that you're going to take in your journey of becoming a man and falling in love and actually getting physical with another person. I don't want you to skip any of those steps. And if you start looking at videos that your friends will want you to see, if you start looking at pornography or anything they put in front of you, you're going to miss out on the butterflies that yeah, you the get. the sweet, from innocent moments. You're holding right. a girl's so right. hand. Yeah. And the first kiss and first mm -hmm. base, all of those things that you end up mm -hmm. doing, you don't want to miss that stuff because that's the good stuff. That's what's up in your mind. That's what creates the, the emotional connection that you're going to have later in life that still makes it exciting. The physical stuff that you see people doing in pornography, it's not real. It's yeah, not love. It's so it's overly accessible right now. And yeah. you're right. Like they're going to skip through all these sweet moments and think they have to do these yeah insane positions and, and, and it's crazy. just and that's there's physicality and then there's like love and emotion and all those things and you want them to be together and that's and he can learn whatever he needs to learn later on in life but i want him to have a foundation of that from me mm -hmm. just going that's what you want to search for in life that's what you want to get out of a partner in life and what things you do with your wife like do you see them taking note of if you're going to hold the door for her or do something romantic or just how you respect women in general i think usually it's it's always having the conversation in the moment and how they talk to girls. If I pick up on it, mm, I don't okay. always say it right then and there, but we'll always have a conversation later of saying, hey, listen, the way that you're speaking to, I don't care if they're your best friend and you treat them like a guy, they treat you the same. I want you to respect women in a, in a much more elevated way than you do guys. It's just something that I was brought up with. And I think that those Midwest values of like really having that respect and having that, yeah. um, that reverence for women is important. Can you talk about how it's so important to eat clean because you can feel so much better emotionally, physically, which also helps feel yeah, confident in the bedroom. Absolutely. I think eat, eating clean is such a generic term. And I think that being healthy is such a generic term because everyone has different ways of mm -hmm. going about it. And we might change our minds along the way. Like I used to eat the worst processed yogurt. Fiber. That's your worst, oh, Ryan. I'm thinking Big Macs. One. No. 
I mean, that was... Who feels hot after a few Big Macs? Yeah, nobody. nobody. That'd be creepy if nobody. you were turned on after Big Macs. But like when I thought I was in the best shape of my life and people were asking me and I was doing articles <laughs> in men's fitness or whatever, oh, yeah, I remember I'd, I'd give all of these this diet advice that I look back on and you go, oh man, I'm... It was bad. It was bad advice. It was bad advice because it was not eating real food. Mm -hmm. So paleo is one of the things we do. Um, we do a few vegan options. We do a little keto. But the, the basis behind it all is there's no dairy, no sugar, and no gluten, and no, no artificial anything. And Danielle started this journey because she has vitiligo and she has Hashimoto's, which is thyroid disease. And it's just autoimmune conditions that she wanted to get healthy with. And know that she could manage the symptoms yeah a lot of people don't know it starts with the food doctors will push medication yeah. on you oh have you tried to eat well for a day yeah. no have you worked out no. no have you drank water have you slept for eight hours no, no. there's but, so many things so so many ailments that can be cured by exactly what you just yeah. said i look at food and by the way we're both from chicago i love a good chicago pizza when i go home portillo's mm -hmm. i do it but i expect a food hangover Yes. I treat food the same way I treat alcohol now. I'm still going to go have fun with alcohol once in a while. But, but you know, I know you have a buffer day. Yeah, yeah. we know like <laughs> if you have red wine, you're going to have a different hangover than if you have tequila. But we don't treat food the same way. We just eat when we're hungry and we go, oh, that was good. I needed that. And nobody feels sexy bloated. No, nobody, wants nobody to... feels sexy bloated. Yeah. But the big thing is just knowing, because we all have sampled with wine, with uh, vodka, tequila, whatever, and we know the effects it has. But we mix our foods. Right, so we don't do an elimination most of the times, and that's the biggest thing when you eliminate food groups and then you put stuff back, like eliminate gluten, and then when you put it back and you know how you feel, you'll go, Okay, maybe I don't do well with gluten, I'm done with that. Or if I eat it, I know I'm going to have a hangover from it. But everything's a drug that we put in our body, and we either get energy or lose energy from it. And if we want to be able to give energy, and whether that's sexual energy, whether that's physical energy, anything that we're doing in life, mm -hmm. it's what is going to serve you best. I love it. Thank you so much.